Hey, hey, everybody's jumping on right now. I know it's early. I wanted to uh, pop on before I go get my day started. I wanted to talk to you guys today uh, and give you some, some just simple life advice. So many people uh, sent me a direct message after yesterday's conversation and uh, I got a lot of the same questions about, um, you know, just the way I think about uh, what I do every single day, how I conduct myself, what I think about uh, taking personal responsibility and everything that's going on in social media and stuff. And I just want to give you guys some simple life advice. I got a lot of young followers right now that are looking towards the future, towards this next year, and are asking themselves what can they do to be more successful. <clears throat> All right. So he here's my simple life advice. And first off, thank you guys for jumping on. Uh, it's Cody Sperber, the CEO of cleverinvestor.com. Um, for those of you that are just jumping on, I know we just reached the top live. So piece of life advice number one. This is probably the biggest thing that I did in my 20s. And that's, I was really, really hard on myself. I was probably my own worst enemy and I constantly was putting my own self down. I always try to make things perfect. I was always over planning, over preparing, waiting for everything to be perfect before I took any action. And I was constantly beating myself up. I actually sat down at lunch with a good friend of mine yesterday and he said, well, Cody, I like how you, you're able to just go live and have these conversations with people and God, I'm so scared to do social media. I get nervous, I get sweaty, I think I'm gonna sound stupid. Uh, how do you do it? And I said, well, you know what? I just do it. I try not to overthink it. I try to keep things simple and I try not to be so hard on myself. You know, it's kind of funny in life when you come in third or fourth or fifth or sixth place in anything that you do, especially nowadays with social media, people call you a loser. They hate on you. They give you their opinions. But yet when somebody comes in last place in medical school, people call them doctor. I mean, think about that for a second. It's kind of kind of messed up. So you really got to stop being so hard on yourself. You're your own worst enemy. Most people are too busy to care. And even if they do hate on you, it's just a brief moment of insecurity on their own behalf. Really has nothing to do with you. And you just got to let that roll off your shoulders and keep moving forward. Because at the end of the day, you're the only one that's going to determine how far you go in life. Nobody else. So that's simple advice number one. The second piece of advice is you got to keep things simple. If you think about everything that's going on in our complex world right now, all the noise, the news, our church, our friends, our family, getting pulled in a million different directions from our managers or bosses at work and all our other uh, team members that we either are on a sports team with or that work with us. It's so hard to keep things simple. We're constantly overcomplicating things, but if you really think about it, there's only seven colors in the rainbow. That's it. But yet, you put those same seven colors in the hands of a great artist and beautiful things happen. There's only 10 numbers, but yet mathematically, there's a gazillion different things that you could do with those numbers. And if you keep it simple, I find that I'm able to get a lot more done. I'm able to actually enjoy the journey. You know, they say a tree is either growing or dying. And same with marriage, same with your friendship, same with uh, your career, or anything else you put your mind to. And uh, if you keep things simple, you're able to progress a lot faster. You feel better about it too. So that's advice number two, keep it simple. And the third thing I wanted to share with you guys today is to stop sharing your problems with other people. So many times we find ourselves going into the office with monkeys on our shoulder, with all the negative baggage that's going on in our lives, and we start telling all our office teammates all the horrible things that we're experiencing and the bills and the taxes and the prices are going up and 
you know, my relationships suck with my significant other and my kids are a pain in the ass or whatever. And here's the truth. 90% of people don't care. They just don't care. They're going to listen to you and they're going to shake their head up and down, but they just don't give a shit. They got their own problems. And the other 10% are glad that you have them. So stop sharing your problems with other people. You're definitely not going to go any further in life because you do. In fact, I think it's going to hold you back. I think more people are going to subconsciously say to themselves, you know, this person's all right and everything, and I kind of stuck with them because I work with them or they're a member of my church or, you know, whatever, but they're not going to gravitate towards you. They're not going to give you opportunities. They're not going to lift you up. They're not going to take time to invest in you because they don't believe in you. If you don't believe in yourself, they're not going to believe in you. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. So much negativity on social media. I watch what's going on in politics and it just, it makes me nauseous that uh, it's gotten so out of control. There's just not enough positivity out there. So I hope that when you tune in here, that you get that little daily dose of inspiration. Somebody's talking to you, maybe you're in a, a, a family where you live in an environment where there's not a lot of positivity or there's not a lot of people in your life that inspire you to be great. I truly believe that it's your obligation to be successful. And if you don't work really, really hard at your mindset, you're never gonna be successful. You're the only thing in your own way. And at the end of the day, uh, the last thing you want is to be on death's doorstep regretting the decisions you made, missing out on the relationships that slipped right through your fingertips, being that person that feels like they lost because they knew that they had more gas in the tank but they didn't live up to their own potential. You have greatness inside you. Uh, I'm telling you right now, there's not one thing that any successful person on this planet has that you don't. So believe that. That said, I'm going to send you guys off with a little view of my backyard. I hope you guys have a blessed day. Take care. Comb your hair. Coach Purple, Clever Investor, signing off. Till next time. Peace. Can we earn money through Instagram? Yeah, of course. You gotta have something to sell. You wanna earn money. You're either selling shout outs, or courses, or consulting, or help with companies growing their social media. Of course it's possible. Every day I wake up, Oh man, I missed the fish. Dang it. That's my house right there. Every day I wake up, come outside, I try to protect my peace and I just listen to the waterfall, have a moment, think about all the things I'm grateful for. You know, life can be pretty tough if you focus on all the things that are going wrong, all the challenges in your life. But in that same breath, life can be pretty freaking amazing if you focus on the other side of the coin. Connor asks, what time do I start the day? I get up every day at about 4.30 a.m. Early bird gets the warm, baby. I get more done before most people even get up. Plus China. Your posts are so helpful. Thank you. You know, I'm uh, definitely not the smartest guy in the world. And there's a lot I have to learn. But when I do come across something great, I love to share it.
What do you do for work? I'm a real estate investor, flip houses, spec build, big multi-million dollar houses. I'm very blessed and fortunate to be able to teach other people how to flip houses. Go to cleverinvestor.com. You can check it out. All right. I got to go. Later, guys.